you are you are unstoppable you the hermit and the five of cups and the ten of pentacles somebody's gonna show up to your place eventually sometime somewhere in the future uh, it could be november but they're gonna be showing up to your place homeless and destitute and in despair and hysterically crying oh when you two get together it's this energy of they're still trying to hide stuff from you they're gonna get exactly what they deserve what's been owed to them okay they gotta pay up that karma hello sagittarius how are you welcome back to the channel starzy zayed here if you're new make sure to subscribe and join the soul tribe we have a read for you guys okay this is your general read for november 2023 here's a general read so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind cross watchers you are welcome this message is also timeless personal reads are in the Tree link in the description box below i want to thank everyone for all the support and with all that out of the way we're going to get started thank you so much angels ancestors spirit guides universe galactic beings Ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Sagittarians. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So let's look at the overall energy of November, predictions, your love, your money, and closing messages. Okay, so you have Leo on the side, the sun, and the strength card on the side. You have number 12 upside down. This is the hangman upright, right? Quote unquote, the hangman. Is the hangman actually upright or is it always in the reverse? That's the question. Okay, but you have the hangman in reverse, right? We'll just say the hangman's in reverse. Neptune retrograde, Pisces. We have Venus retrograde. This is Libra and Taurus energy. This is the Empress, the Hierophant, and Justice all in reverse. <coughs> What do we have at the bottom? I'm, I'm getting some fro chakra block. We have the three of cups. Okay. Three of cups and the eight of pentacles. Interesting. Nine of swords. Wow. Eight of swords. Y'all. I don't know why. Like. Y'all are in. Ten of pentacles. Hermit. Oh. Y'all keep getting this message. Hold on. Eight of Swords, the Fool. Nine of Cups. Overall energy for Sagittarius. Overall energy for Sagittarius. Oh, wow. Cherry. Oh. Nine of Wands, too. Nine of Pentacles. Damn. Holy crap, Sagittarius. You are a powerhouse this month. You are, you are unstoppable. You, y'all need to, if y'all did not watch the current energy, all signs, you need to watch the current energy, all signs read. Okay. Watch that read. It is timestamp. Check the pinned comment. Okay. But it is timestamp and your portion of the read is more or less what's going on here. But what on earth, Sagittarius, the overall month, the overall energy of the month of November celebrating victory okay enjoyment fulfillment look at these three cups you could also be drinking a lot of wine uh, i heard lambrusca so somebody could be a huge lambrusca drinker i also heard sangria okay but i i i got the barefoot brand as well eight of pentacles celebration work okay the routine but the routine is good the routine is good. You're saving. You're making those those money moves. Okay? The Ace of Swords. There is some blessing coming from the Ephers this month. Okay? There is a blessing here. You see the Dove. The Dove of the Holy Spirit is coming. Okay? To bring clarity. To bring, right, some type of lifeline, you could even say. Nine of Swords. So whatever you are stressing or whatever anxiety you have, you don't have to worry, love. Okay? Because your lifeline is here. There's changes coming. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Five of Cups. There could be this huge fear of homelessness. Or how are you going to pay bills? How are you going to pay uh, the rent? Okay? Or you want to leave. You know, you want to leave. You want to go somewhere where it just feels like you have more flexibility, more options. Or you could be wanting to move back in with your parents, okay, or with a family member, your sister, your brother, something like that, because you're just looking at the situation, um, and it may not be the most ideal. 
Right. So there is this, there could also be this energy of like the lease is almost up where you're currently at and you don't know where you're going to go because they raised it where, you know, where you're at, right? And you can't find anything that fits your budget or fits what you're looking for, et cetera, et cetera. So this, there is this energy of panic, okay? Panic over your living situation, but do not panic, okay? The Most High is with you. He is listening. He is watching. And everything is going to fall into place miraculously. As silly as that sounds, it will fall into place, okay? We are going to be shifted, a lot of us. So we may find ourselves in these predicaments. But just know that the Most High is listening. And he is walking that walk with us. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So there are living situation changes that may occur for a lot of you. Then you have the Eight of Swords, the Fool, and the Nine of Cups. Sagittarius, you can become your own worst enemy this month by staying in the Eight of Swords. It's really important for you to put yourself out there, okay? It's so important, this energy, to put yourself out there, to be showing up, to be social, okay? Okay, it's it's important to show your face. And yes, are there some weird people out here? Of course, there are things out here that are not even human. Okay, shapeshifters, reptilians, disguising themselves as humans. Okay, but I look at it, you know, because sometimes you can see their their you know their eyeball and whatnot showing up through the disguise. I look at it and see it as just like so funny, you know, like we really live in this world that's magical. You know, there's different beings here. So just look at it like that. Right? I I, I like to I, I try to look at the brighter side of things. Now, Sagittarius, you do have somebody here that's that uh is showing up to your place. Like this has been coming up. This keeps coming up. The Hermit and the Five of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's gonna show up to your place eventually, sometime, somewhere in the future. Uh, it could be November, but they're going to be showing up to your place homeless and destitute and in despair and hysterically crying. Okay, they're going to be hysterically crying that you show them mercy. Okay, they're going to want you to show them mercy. And they're going to want you to take them in. Okay, they, they are begging you for forgiveness, Sagittarius. Do you accept their forgiveness? Do you accept this person into your home? At this point, it feels to me like a lot of you feel like this individual just has diarrhea of the mouth. And like I'm getting like a sour taste in my mouth. So I don't know. Like it just feels like it's been tainted. Storm warning is here when it comes to love. So that's the tower. You have unfinished business. Look, look, Sagittarius. I'm trying to tell y'all. They feel like y'all got unfinished business. But you see, there's also like. Some of y'all gotta watch out for like a hurricane. A hurricane could be coming into the area late November. I'm, I'm not trying to manifest this, but I am getting some type of weird weather. There, there's some type of weird weather. More towards like the the east coast of the states, but like more towards like Virginia, the Carolinas, even going up to like Jersey. Okay. And why even around there, like there could be a storm coming or something. So some of y'all just be wary of that. Because <clears throat> these storms, you know, they're, they're barely speaking about these storms. Have you noticed that? They wait until the last minute. You know, they, they didn't say anything about that tropical storm that was coming here to Jersey. And then they were like, yeah, tomorrow there's going to be a tropical storm. You know, it just came out of nowhere. Same with the, the Hurricane Otis. That just came out of nowhere. Like, they weren't even talking about that. Family. Somebody wants to move in and have a family with you. Third party. Oh. Oh, wow. Somebody's leaving the third party. Sagittarius to go be with you. And y'all gonna... Yeah, break... Oh. Holy crap. Breakup is there. Single... Ex-lover, Sagittarius, y'all. There's going to be somebody here that comes back to your life, yeah. New love to have a brand new beginning and new love with you. And y'all going to, it seems to me like y'all going to get together. Magnetic attraction, y'all going to get together and y'all going to have a happily ever after with this person. 
okay don't come for me in the comments please that's that's what the card is showing that you're gonna have a new love beginning with this past energy performance evaluation so you are gonna have a performance evaluation at work now those of you that are business owners it's time to evaluate the business okay Oh, job offers here. A lot of you are re-entering the workforce. Somebody's going to be very happy to sit down and speak to you and interview you. However, the workplace is going to be one where they micromanage. So just bear that in mind going into it. It's going to feel uh, kind of heavy at first, okay? Especially if this is like in the city. We have cryptocurrency here, so a lot of you getting into day trading and the stock market, okay? Some of you are going to get into futures or forex, okay, trading. Yeah, interview is here. Some of you are joining like a day trading, stock trading course, and like you're you're out of there. Like you're out of the world. Like the moment you see money being made... And, you know, this can also represent, like, a, a digital store, digital storefront, Etsy shop, Shopify, okay, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it may be. The moment you start seeing money coming in, you're quitting and you're leaving, okay? You're, a lot of you want to leave the workforce. You, you don't want to be doing anything that you're not happy doing. Like, you want to be happy. Like, happiness is your priority. Happiness is your first, middle, and last name okay you want to be happy okay this is part of your enlightenment journey and anything that causes you stress or, or you know disharmony or just makes you feel irritated or annoyed you just don't care for it anymore you're you're not going to give it time you're not going to give it energy you're over it okay and you're moving forward yep right direction and this is leading you to the enlightenment okay it's also leading you to the money. Because when we accept only what we want out of life, and we don't take anything less than, it creates this energy around us where we bring in only what we want, what we are wanting, on a consistent basis. So I do see here that y'all are going to get into your own type of money magic, money rituals, money affirmations, background check I feel that I don't know why this money tree and background check new assets you see this money tree gave me family tree and this background check really gave me like looking back at your family tree and looking what people looking at what different family members did for money you know what they did to manifest the wealth you could have some family members that are extremely wealthy and you could just look at them and how they live their life and it's almost this energy of like copycat like or, or mimic like let me mimic what they are doing and see if that energy brings in the riches and yes, spirit is bringing you a lifeline, but we also have to remember that we can bring in a lifeline ourselves. We have a piece of the creator within us, so I feel like there's going to be this switch in the energy, and you're just going to be focusing on attracting that money, the, 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 those finances, waiting game. Good news, I'm telling you, the wait is almost over. You're headed to the next level here with travel. But also, what I'm getting here is there are going to be travel plans made. I heard Miami. Somebody's going to be going to Miami. The wheel, fate, destiny, okay? Destiny is turning in your favor. This is y'all's energy. Look here, karmic justice. That's why the third party came out, because karma is coming to these people, these energies that were doing black magic and doing God knows what else. Okay, karma is coming. They they, they really thought they were going to get away now. And, and, you know, it could have been so long, right? 
you could have been thinking this individual is never going to get their karma. The Sagittarius, no, they're going to get their karma. Trust and believe. Karmic justice, they're going to get exactly what they deserve, what's been owed to them, okay? They got to pay up that karma, okay? Debt and karma is similar in nature, you know, as above, so below, right? And when you have karmic debt, Eventually, the angels and ancestors, you know, whoever, they're going to come down and say, where, where, you know, ha have you paid up this karmic debt? Okay, well, we need you to pay this, this, and this. And if not, then the karma, you know, things are going to be taken away. Certain, uh, certain occurrences, weird things are just going to occur in this individual's lives or in the lives of these people. Boredom and death. Look. It's going back to that last read, like somebody is literally deteriorating. Yeah, like your energy is no longer there. And like they're bored. Look, love offer. That fell out. Divine timing. Divine timing here. And the hidden. Love. Look. Y'all. Y'all, I'm telling you, this individual is deteriorating, but they're going to come back. And a lot of you, a lot of y'all are going to take this person in and you're going to nurse them back to hell. And then y'all are going to get married and live a happily ever after. And, you know, it's going to be like this love story that you never thought possible. But I feel like a lot of you don't want this. So a decision is going to have to be made here. A decision will have to be made here. This read was all over the place. Yeah, gavel. Conviction. Somebody here is going to be a convicted felon. I'm telling y'all. Repairman, they're going to have to do that work. What do they call that? That community service? The book burning, ostrich trap. Look. When you two get together, it's this energy of they're still trying to hide stuff from you. You know, book burning. They're trying to hide that evidence. But you're going to find it all out. You already know the whole truth about what this individual has done against you. Tools. They're going to use every tool that they have to fix this connection and to prove to you their loyalty. A biker, but you see, oh, biker and the, the spilled milk, y'all, oh, the, oh, Lord, Lord in heaven, Sagittarius, this individual got somebody pregnant, this individual went and got somebody pregnant, y'all, that's what they don't want to tell y'all, but you see, they're going to be called to go to court because th those child support payments have to be made. Okay, or this individual secretly had a child. Okay, if this is a woman, she could have secretly had a child with the karmic. Word is getting out that either somebody gave birth to a secret child or somebody got somebody pregnant. And then they're going to come back to you and, and not tell you anything. This spilled milk is also giving me like this individual was, you know... They, they were enjoying themselves. They were out there, ch child there. You know, we know how children are made, right? So that tells me that protection wasn't being used. Oh, I don't know. Y'all got to be careful with this scuba diver. And still, yeah, there, there could be deep feelings, but you need to think about saying yes to this person. You really need to think about saying yes to this person. This feels like too much drama. With 50-50 there. It was always destined to happen like this. But you don't have to say yes to this person. You don't have to accept this person into your life. Clarify spirit. Bodybuilder, curtain call, emerald. You see, this individual could be a bodybuilder. Yeah. 
it's up to you. You can choose to finally close this cycle off for good. But they are going to show up eventually. At some point in the future, they're going to show up homeless to you. And that's when you can decide to either restart this, reignite the old flame. Or you can finally shut out this chapter for good. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>